Hi and welcome to a new video. If you're having trouble with your AirPods, resetting them can often be an effective solution. But what if resetting your AirPods doesn't work the way it should? In this video, I will recommend some solutions to help you resolve this issue. Let's go. To charge your AirPods, use an original or an MFI certified cable and connect it to a power source. You can also use a wireless charging mat if you have one. In case you experience charging issues, try a different lightning cable to see if that solves the problem. While charging, keep an eye on the LED light on the front of the AirPods case. An amber light indicates it's charging, while a green light means that it's fully charged. To preserve your AirPods battery, keep them inside the case when not in use. For persistent software-related issues with your AirPods, resetting them is often the most effective solution. To get started, place your AirPods in their charging case and close the lid for at least 30 seconds. If your AirPods are still paired to your iPhone, follow these steps to unpair them. Open the lid again and remove your AirPods from their case. Next, open Settings on your iPhone and go to Bluetooth. Tap the Info button next to it and click Forget this device to confirm the process. When your AirPods are disconnected from your iPhone, place them back in their charging case and keep the lid open. Then, press and hold the button on the back of the case for 15 seconds until the status light flashes from white to amber or red. After that, reconnect your AirPods to your iOS device. While your AirPods are still in their charging case, keep the lid open and hold them close to your iPhone or iPad. Then, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the pairing process. Please note that newer models, starting with AirPods 3 and Pro, can't be paired with a different Apple ID if they're still connected to another account they were originally paired with. To remove the iCloud lock, open Find My on your iPhone to unpair the AirPods from your previous Apple ID. In the Devices tab, select your AirPods from the list. Then tap the Remove this device button and enter your Apple ID password to unlink the AirPods from your account. An outdated iOS version could also be a potential cause for this issue. To ensure that everything works, it's important to have the appropriate iOS version for your specific AirPods model. For instance, the AirPods Pro 2nd generation requires at least iOS 16, AirPods 3rd generation needs iOS 15.1 or later. The AirPods Pro 1st generation, on the other hand, requires iOS 13.2 or later. Meanwhile, for AirPods second generation, iOS 12.2 or later is necessary, and then iOS 10 or later for the first generation AirPods. If the iOS version installed on your device is outdated, it can affect your device's features. Aside from that, iOS updates usually include regular bug fixes and security patches. So, it's a good idea to keep your iPhone updated. To check for a new iOS version, open Settings on your iPhone. Navigate to General and click on Software Update. If an update is available, tap Download and Install. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Afterwards, your iPhone should restart automatically with the new iOS version installed. Keep in mind that you need enough storage space left and a stable Wi-Fi connection to successfully install an iOS update. Also bear in mind, some older iPhone models are not able to install the latest software updates. To check if your device is compatible, click the tag in the upper right corner. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!